Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tarot Line. We are making some great progress again, uh, digging in the foundation and um, digging for the French strain system that we are going to put in. Um, I actually had some help this week. Um, I found a few guys. Uh, one of my co-workers actually connected me to some university students and um, they, were, they came and I'm obviously paying them and they came and uh, started digging and they really um, enjoyed it enough at least to come back next week. So hopefully we can get that the trench finished next week. We dug out most of the area and um, I didn't actually take a lot of videos because first of all I took um, a one of the guys and I took a trip to the landfill on Saturday plus uh, Julie had a art exhibit um, this week so um, it wasn't we had a kind of busy day so after the guys left I actually left uh, pretty quickly too and so today's Sunday I am not doing any digging I really am just trying to figure out the layout of the French drain system that I want to put in so that um, next week when we have everything completely flat we know exactly where we have to dig down another one and a half to two feet for a trench where we're gonna put the, um, the drain itself into it. Um, I'm also putting in a secondary uh, drain system for this room itself, where um, just in case there's water that not comes out from the outside, but um, I wanna obviously add uh, some running water here in this room too when we put the concrete in, but I wanna also at that point of course have a way to get that water drained out so I'm gonna add some um, drain system for that and I also want to connect my gutters from the roof on the upper side of the house to that drain too so evacuate all that water out down the hill so I want to try to get that all uh, put in um, try to lay it all out and so that we can finish or at least start digging for it next week So I put some structural screws into the into this beam here so that I can take out the post because we want to obviously dig around um, where the post is too and it's right now it's in the way so therefore let's get it out of here. Now that we have the post in the, out of the way we can obviously start digging this. Um, I have had some guys here this week who helped me dig. I actually found some people uh, from a local college and they were here for a few hours um, and dug out the rest of the area. We still have to finish all the way uh, to the back of the corner and then this area, but ev everything else is lowered. We're probably even lower than we have to be, but this is nice because now we can actually level it all nicely and put um, gravel on top before we put the concrete on. So the next couple of weeks, hopefully we have this whole project of uh, the French drain dug out and finished um, all the way down to the hill side so they are going to come next week again and do some more trench digging just for the for the pipes itself so hopefully we get that done and we will probably finish that um, pile here that we now have underneath the post um, all, also next week so we do have a large pile of dirt now here that we obviously took out there will be obviously a little bit more that is coming but overall this is going to give us enough fill dirt to when we put a wall here on the side of the property where the fence is right now and then over at the end of the building right here when we're gonna come across we want to make this all a nice flat area for um, parking so therefore this is gonna give us a lot of fill dirt for that area we'll probably have a little bit too much which we can use further down the hill here um, and then of course we still have to dig all of this uh, section out too 
spot. L uh, luckily, we can use an excavator for that. So that's going to make uh, work much easier. You can see we have that last little bit left to do over on this side and that we have to still dig a trench at the bottom to obviously lay the French drain itself. So as I'm laying this out, I'm just pulling them, I'm just connect, lightly connecting them just so I know where I can reach with the different pipes. Obviously I can cut this pipe, um, works just like any other PVC pipe. You're gonna use the glue afterwards to connect them. Um, and I have right now the hose on the top. Um, it is obviously not uh, by mistake why I'm putting the hose right now on the top. This is obviously not the finished location where it's gonna be. Obviously the whole thing is gonna be dug into another trench, um, but the holes need to be on the bottom if you're actually installing a French drain. It seems counterintuitive. You would think, oh, holes need to be on the top. The water um, can come into the holes and then run out. But it actually, how the French drain system works, you put the um, pipe almost to the bottom of the, of the hole. You just have a, a little thin layer of um, gravel underneath it just to protect the pipe. And then the water actually rises in that channel and then goes into this pipe. From the bottom up because otherwise you would obviously have a three four inch um, area where you wouldn't um, have any water and there would be a lot of water standing in the trench so in this case the water then will just uh, travel along the pipe when it com comes inside the pipe from the bottom um, and then obviously i'm going to go with um, just normal 90s around the corner here and on the far side here i'm going to stay as close as i can to the wall obviously a few inches away from it but then over here I'm just gonna try to do the 90 wherever I can get in front of the um, extra wall that is uh, chatted out a little bit where the door is and where the camera is right now so I'm gonna just try to align so we can go and do a nice straight line this way um, obviously that would mean there is a little open space but I feel pretty uh, safe there because obviously if the water is coming in this way it goes in the pipe right away um, and then it eva gets evacuated and any water here since we're going to have a concrete pad um, will be uh, connected in the drain that we have on top of it anyways and would then go out in the drain pipe itself so i'm going to connect the the pipe or i'm going to lay the pipe <clears throat> so i'm going to lay the pipe the french drain itself right behind uh, the gas line because it gives me um, uh, one way to get uh, through very easily and then otherwise I'm also close to this wall so if we have a lot of water coming in through, um, through our driveway eventually the French drain can do also its work over on this side of the wall. Um, I, as it looks like I currently have four um, French drain pipes that have the holes. I will probably need one more just to this last um, section there and then the rest um, going downhill plus a small little section up there I will probably not need that and I'll just have a standing pipe with standard PVC pipes. Um, and then my other pipe we will see where it's going to fit but I will probably have another one in front of it. Let me show you guys the basic layout of how the French drain is going to work. You can see here I'm obviously we still have to dig this down a little bit but just from the layout perspective we are coming down from the corner here we will probably also dig a little bit to the left um, right over there because right over there is actually the um, there's another two or three feet where the uh, corner where it goes around the corner the wall here so we'll probably just dig another one or two feet over um, afterwards and um, also lay the French drain into that section and then what you're supposed to do with the French drain so that in the future you can ever extend it or something. We, um, I'm going to put a 90 up just like the way I have it right now. Um, and then you go up vertically and then cap it so that way you can extend it and put um, more water um, pipes. Uh, you can connect them later if needed. <laughs> so I'm going to do that over there. But then we are coming along the wall. Probably just going to stay uh, three, four inches away from the wall. Um, along here and then we are trying to be as um, in line with the wall out there as we can and so we're going with extra leaving that space open and then we are going to dig here behind the gas meter um, along we're going to dig all of this as a trench and then here we are going to have to dig down 
a little bit because right here along with this corner of the house we are going to have a wall so we want to be obviously underneath the wall so therefore we will have to go dig um, a, a deeper hole right here go into the ground and then have a trench that goes along down the hill um, to the ravine so obviously i'm not uh, really concerned right now i'm just gonna let the water evacuate down here into this area and i'm going to dig the ravine itself later or the the trench later here when we get all the um, slate tiles removed from this area and we have some of the um, layout um, and landscaping done so i'm not going to do all of that stuff um, this time around and plus having an excavator here itself will help us with that so we will do this we will do all of that extra stuff when we have an excavator or a ditch witch here to do this a little easier but here along the wall we'll probably dig it by hand and the only reason why we want to dig it by hand first of all it's very close to an old foundation so i don't want to dig down and find some rocks that are very important so we are going to dig it this by hand and then the second reason is we have the gas line right here so we want to obviously be careful um, so not to damage the line so we are digging this by hand and not with an excavator. Same thing then out here, we'll just keep digging, um, put the trench deep enough and with obviously enough of a fall that it um, the water can just continuously run and not um, have any ballast in there where the water will um, just um, congregate and um, so it's just sit there. We obviously want to stop that from happening so therefore we want to be somewhat accurate with what we how we dig it before we put the gravel in. Well, I think this is it for this week. Um, I will see you guys all next time I turn on the camera. Have a good one. Bye.